Hi, my name is Shelly Lacer. I'm the superintendent for the Wise County Youth Fair Foods Division. Just wanted to share with you some updates and tips um, to be successful at the Youth Fair in the Foods category. Number one, follow the rules. Make sure your entry is there that Thursday morning, anytime between 7.30 and 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, um, the door is shut and locked because our judges start judging at 10.01. We have so many great entries. It takes our judges the full time until that afternoon that we open up the doors um, so you can see the results. We wanna make sure that we are not rushed and give them plenty of time to judge those categories. Um, second, if there are a certain number of items of your food that need to be included per the recipe, so for example, it asks for there to be 10 cookies on a plate and provided to be judged, we want you to make sure that you have those 10 cookies. The reasoning is, is that um, we want to make sure that say your cookies get first place in the division, then they go to the, be judged for grand champion. If you didn't include enough um, as their judge for division, then we don't even have that enough of a sample for the judges to have when they judge for grand champion. Want to make sure that your recipe is written down um, on an index or on a um, full piece of paper and attached to your um, food item. Each year we have folks that run in, have several um, food items, but have forgotten to write down their recipe. You just hate to see somebody stressed or worried like that as they're frantically writing down exactly how they made it or copying that recipe. Make sure the recipe doesn't have your name on it. We can always cut it off or anything, but um, just wanna help remove any stress um, that is of that morning. Um, when you show up, say you've entered three categories and you've entered pies, bar cookies, and candy. And say your candy just didn't turn out and you've made a scratch cake instead. You can easily change your categories when you arrive. As long as you have three entries that you've entered for by the um, deadline, you bring three entries the day of. As long as there are three different categories, we can easily switch those categories. Um, lastly, want to talk about our um, combined um, competition that's brand new this year with um, FCCLA and it is on peanuts and it's a this theme will change and it's always going to be um, a category that is, relates to a food grown in Texas and we know that peanuts are a Texas crop so one entry may be entered into this um, class per um, participant in FCCLA or 4-H. There's one class there's no age level or um, age or level distinction. Um, Entry types can be any that are allowable in FCCLA or 4-H, uh, except those that are not tasted. So it couldn't be just a decorated cake. So it's any of those tasted sampled items. Um, entries will be judged um, the best use of food theme, taste, texture, appearance, and degree of difficulty. Um, refer back to the FCCLA and 4-H rules. Separate judges will judge this themed category as opposed to everything else that we have there that day. First place will receive an award, and we are very um, happy and pleased to say that it is going to be a $500 scholarship given by the Decatur Junior Women's Club. So we look forward to seeing you out there at the Wise County Youth Fair. Um, please let us know if you have any questions or need clarification, and good luck.